There we go. Give it a moment to catch up there. Ahoy, everyone. Welcome aboard. I'll... Welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Be so mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome once again to the Hippity Hoppity SMP server, where, well, I've been a bit busy with some things. Like, I set up this here for automated glass farming and such, and similar things. And, uh, yeah... <laughs> Probably something that is notably missing now, since I just removed it just a minute earlier. Uh, yeah, apparently the bookworms were causing quite a bit of slow down in the area. So, well, <clears throat> I decided to look into the uh, occultism and magic storage. And uh, yeah, that works without extra entities in the area. Because that was, that's what was causing the uh, slowdown. Too many creatures in the area. There's still a bunch... Like the Wixies and such, Starbuncles, and I'll, <clears throat> I'll probably get to work on removing those sooner or later. And yeah, apparently this is a trick that works also, like just putting a water block in leaves. And uh, yeah, Sensei has installed a few mechanical stuff in the, uh, <clears throat> into the tower, and I've also built a few extensions. Like over here, we just have a bunch of metalworking stuff. Um, <clears throat> basically, what's supposed to happen here is that I put all of the ores that I get into here. Then this uh, foliot will bring it over to the mirror <laughs> to this guy who will crush it into dust. And then, well, <clears throat> <clears throat> pardon. Then the starbuncle will pick it up, put it in here. Then it gets smelted, and the Wixie will turn it into blocks and put it... Then the Starbunk will bring it over there. All right. And we can actually show that at the moment. 
So let me just pull out. Where is it? Yeah, I can see this there. is if you have a lot of things like this in one area along with farm animals and whatnot. I can see that we cause a slowdown. Yeah, there's a new, there's been some small changes to the mod pack as well, including something called caged mobs, which will allow well will you allow will allow you to farm items off of them without hurting them, and without having to have them roam around. So we'll probably be able to clear out the the farm floor once that happens. But yeah, for oh the moment. Dear. Put this all close together so it doesn't there. Okay, then I put these in here. This guy picks them up. He crushes them nearly instantly. Starbunkle picks them up. And, all right, he brings them over here first because this is a smelter that Sensei also set up. Uh, basically, this is just running off of power from the uh, <clears throat> from the windmills up there. And yeah, if this gets filled, or rather, if this one... What's the uranium block doing in there? Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, I might need to fix... I might need to clean this up then. But, yeah. Basically, as long as those are up there, it's free energy. And these will get smelted. It'll automatically get deposited over here. Let's see. It won't be the fastest. Probably it's a lot slower than what the... <laughs> it's a lot slower than the crusher can process. But if need be... Uh, come on, there's stuff there. There we go. Yeah, it's stuff like that. that there's, there's just a few too many creatures around that causes slow reactions like that. Which is also why... I asked Sensei to put this in instead of, well, <laughs> having a bunch of Starbunkles running around here. Okay, basically what yeah. happens here... Uh, yeah, it's a contraption with harvesters on top of it. It'll just pick up any source berries that gets uh, fully grown, like those there. Yeah, there. I gotta suspect many of these things will probably work fine on smaller scales, but let's be honest. If there's a, a running trend with many Minecraft the play I've seen, not all of them, but many, is uh, go big or go home. Yeah, which tends to cause a lot of slowdown. <clears throat> yeah. Which is a, lot, is, it, it's, is a lot more doable on single player worlds, since, well, you'll be running off your own specs, uh, your own computer specs with that, but with servers, running a uh, server with a lot of RAM would get very pricey. Yeah. Okay, but what's happening here is that the contraption is picking up the berries. They get transferred over through this, put into this vault, and then they get piped out to these uh, arcane pedestals, where these mycelial source links break them down for source, and just, well, they're supposed to send it into this uh, one, but it seems that some of them are sending it directly into, well, the big fucking storage that I made. <laughs> Why would I not be surprised if that could cause issues as well? Uh, it shouldn't. It's just a bunch of blocks. That's a lot easier to run than if, you know, of course, it's a necromancer in freaking diamonds. <clears throat> no, you don't. There we go. Okay, did they drop anything useful? I'll see once I get back up here. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's pretty good, I'd say. Resistance 6, 3 sockets, mana 2 boosts. Or mana, yeah, but mana boost 2. Blast protection. I can you can put two types of protection on, uh, and, uh, on one piece of armor. Just normal protection and then a specific one. Uh, okay, plus 50 here. mana. Mm -hmm. Here's a chance for you. Read out the entire title of that chest armor. <laughs> for Zom Brun's Toast's Bolstering Diamond Tunic of the Mage Hunter. <laughs> yeah, the first one was the hardest, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, I made a... 
might I might I might swap that out with this one what? or I might wait, combine wait. it. Wait. Okay, you had to read that one. I, the, what the heck has you have you done here? M M Maria Stalwart, Maria Stalwart, Maria St what the hell? Okay, that definitely glitched out with something. Let me just undo that. Okay, just delete all of this. Yeah, this and yeah, this then it resets pretty... normal. Any other, uh, other yeah, ones? This is probably the times when it could be good to maybe give them a unique name. <laughs> Well, the, the thing with these affix and uh, prefix items is that if you change the name of it, uh, then the well, the pre the, the fixes stay. Like I named these ones Lucky, Ice Storm, and Slayer, and as you can see, the rest of the, the round what remained around it well remained. Oh, so there's no okay, okay, I get it. Damn it. It seems I forgot to fill in this. <clears throat> okay. Uh, other changes. Other changes. Um, let me see. Oh, right over here. We sh I showed this during the pre-stream, but I'll probably I might cut that out for the the vod. But uh, yeah, this little guy over here, uh, he's refusing to do his job. It seems. Okay. Or oh, when I he's tied. I see what's the problem more. Let's put that there. The heck did you come from? Above. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, I really should clear out my inventory some more. Let me see. Do I have? Yes, I have source gems on me. Did. did Okay, they they came up from the holes. I, I made these holes for the bookworms to fly around. But, well, I had to remove them, so I also had to remove those. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's quickly make a gem block. Where is that? There's that allow scroll. Good thing I always carry one of these around. Okay, then just quickly set these in on it. There and there. Hmm. Actually, let me test something. Like these stable wormholes, they're part of the occultism uh, <clears throat> storage. Now, if I put four of these in here, okay, she will. Okay, she can draw from those, so this one is not needed. It, okay, that was not what I wanted. <laughs> they're nice for decoration, but I'd rather not fill the place up. Did you just turn a shelf into a crystal cube? Yeah, I accidentally swapped them around. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay, first off, set your filter. Then you're going to put things in there. And you're going to take things from there. Okay. And, yes, the, the lead is necessary, just to keep him in place, because well, there's a reason I built all of this around him, because the little shit just kept escaping, even though I made I I made a yeah, I made a prison of solid blocks, and still somehow the little shit managed to escape, to just go play in the fields here, play, picking berries, and causing them to be shoved around by the... okay, what the hell happened? I think I know how he escaped. Okay, something happened here. It's still... Oh, no. It's just glitched. It's still there. I guess it's still working. It's just gone invisible for some stupid reason. But, yeah. Even though this Starbuncle was set to not pick berries and such, it was only allowed to pick up uh, source gems and source gem blocks. He still kept getting out somehow. These were not slabs. I, these are f all full planks with it around here. And yeah, he still somehow got out, started picking berries, and then the, the contraption started pushing them around instead of picking them up. Which, well, is not what I want with my freaking magic storage. 
I'm hmm. gonna guess he is scheduled to... Uh, he, maybe he loaded in before the floor loaded in, so he just... Yeah, fell through. Now, he, he's been escaping whilst I've been here. So it's not that. It's not that he just somehow slips out whilst oh. everything is rendering. It's just that he's a little shit who somehow keeps getting out. But, yeah. Uh, still no real solution for this, though. So, though it does seem that, like we saw earlier, they do seem to get clusters from these as well, but I, either it's just happening slower, or maybe it's just because of all the creatures that have been around that uh, it's been slowing down their work. So for a future quote-unquote tower, it might be bigger, it might be better to just make a, yeah, a pyramid or a ziggurat more accurate to, to have things spread out more. And uh, yeah, these... Probably. Yeah, these portable, yeah, these portable, these stable wormholes. Yeah, the, uh, the Ars Nouveau stuff will accept it as an inventory to put stuff in. So that is why I swapped these around. It is still freaking Roger. <clears throat> so yeah, that's going to save a lot on a lot of lag. Though I probably still should swap these creatures out with caged mobs versions. Um, I I forget if there was anything specific about them, but I think it was a, generally agreed that everyone can use it because it just saves up space and rendering ability and such. Yeah. Okay, then one more thing here is that I've, I've been playing around a bit with uh, the, mat, the, the potion side of Ars Nouveau. Um... And yeah, the, each of these can hold 100 potions. And you'll notice here that this one has a bit of an odd name. Shield, or not odd name, it's an odd effect. Shielding and mana regeneration. Yeah, you can actually merge potions together with, uh, let's see. Where? Oh, there, these potion melders. What you can do with these is that you can set them up. And then you need to, well, like it says, for one, it needs source to work, like everything else in this mod pack. Then we need to, <clears throat> then we need to connect two jars to it from which it will take potions. And then we need to set one up for it to send to. So let me actually just quickly make a few. I, I shouldn't do this too much because it's sort of treading into Shah's course territory. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I ha still have some spare, but... Okay. Six is enough for this. To make those potion jars, you actually need to change a uh, source jar. And seeing as I'm somehow out of those, let's just make a few of those quickly. There. You go. Sorry for that, my people. I just... Blowing, blowing off my mic is a little bit dusty. Okay. I, I think there's better options for that. Like, yeah, yeah. wiping it. <laughs> yeah, probably I should just wipe it. Okay, there. Source jar. Now we mix those together with abjuration essence and we get potion jars. Yeah, maybe I'll change. Maybe once I have uh, swapped out. The mobs or the animal farm for a caged farm, I might we just turn it into a, a potion a shop instead. Yeah, what we then do is we grab ourselves a dominion wand, one melding, two melding, and then we just connect it to the output. And of course, it needs source nearby. Did I put any ones of those in here? So why are you not doing your job? Again, probably because of slowdown around. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I should maybe I should maybe retire one of these two, and just clean up a bunch of these. The reason that this Wixie is here is because, well, a lot of the storage uh, <clears throat> that the, where the uh, 
where the, the creatures up here were storing stuff was constantly filling up, even though they actually aren't working that fast. So yeah, I just had that Wixie there to uh, bunch it up into bundle blocks and such. I probably should remove this at some point. <laughs> so yeah, this one can actually go. Yeah, I feel like you probably need to do something like... Like, uh, you, I feel like you're doing the mis uh, mistake that many YouTubers, I feel like, do, like... They, they plan to uh, do... They love to do mass production. But they it's clear that they don't need it. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh... Okay, it wasn't... I think they said something about possibly joining today, but didn't fully expect it to show. <laughs> that's not me, that's an imposter. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll need to keep an eye on the vents then. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, what was I thinking? Uh, yeah. Actually, we can remove you as well then here. And yeah, I, I've... <laughs> I've turned on this option with the hotbar swapping again because it's just so much easier to swap between different bars than just constantly moving stuff around on my hotbars and such. But yeah, hey Shasko, are you doing well, I hope? I was just explaining how these things work with the potion melders and such. And I'm, I'm only doing this as a demonstration, so I will remove this in a bit. Uh, By the way... I think there are something that could also cause issues. Oh. Um, yes. Those special blocks you have in that room uh, that looks like there's a sky. Now this... I don't think that this is actually that uh, laggy. I, I would have to ask Shaskor about... Not that Shaskor, that's Sensei about that. Sensei is the, <laughs> is the server mod, not uh, <laughs> Shaskor. Uh, let's see. I need to put some stuff away quickly, so I'm just going to dump some of these in here. But yeah, what this does, it, it takes two different potions, and it it will merge them together into uh, one merged one. It's supposed to be a three to one ratio, but it actually works on, if it yeah, maybe the settings are just different, or maybe the mod book is you know, wrong. But yeah, it's actually 2 to 1 instead of 3 to 1. Uh, let's see. Anyone here that I have 2 of that I don't really need? Hmm. Can I can I mix these into strength potions? Would maybe it be a bit of a waste? Uh, then again, I have a I have a healing mirror. So I don't really have too much need for this. Okay, there's no source nearby, but we picked up this one. So just putting that there. And then it gets it gets to work. Two percent, two percent. And yeah. It used up four potions and it made one combined one. There. And now we have a potion of strength and instant health. Nice. So, yeah. And also, I just remember something. There are, some items are counted as entities, and if you have too many entities within one area, it will cause lag even on single player. Yep. But since it's modded, that raises a very concerning question. Which one of all these damn things are counted as an entity? Yeah. <clears throat> I've also dipped a bit into auto brewing. Because if you... Similar to uh, how you can tell Wixies to make different blocks. Uh, tile entities as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bloody <clears throat> they, they really need to fix up Minecraft again at some point. Yeah. If they're allowed to. Uh, but yeah. 
same way that in the same way that Wixies can be taught to make multiple uh, block recipes uh, by putting these pedestals with stuff around them on around the well their cauldron, you can do the same thing with potions. Oh, so right. yeah. For that, luckily you don't need bottles of water. They just need source to well actually fuel everything, and nether warts. Then they will automatically make. Awkward potions. Uh, I should probably empty these out into this one. Yep. And there. And yeah, then you can just make tell them to make other potions. And as long as you have the source and resources nearby, like source berries for mana regeneration and such, then you can yeah, you know, then they'll keep making them. Very nice. But yeah, I'll probably just stick to more basic potions if I do use those. Uh, may as well just use this one up. Just to not accidentally steal the glory from the brewmaster. Yep. <laughs> okay, put those away. Now, uh, there was something I wanted to test. Um, uh oh. But I should I should probably leave that for later. And uh, yeah, this is the central point of the occultism magic storage. And yeah, the one fun thing with this is that it doesn't work like a normal box. Apparently for interaction reasons, it's considered a shulker box. So if I were to break it, all of the stuff inside of it would remain. But is yeah, it good? stacks this, it stack, it stacks this stuff up to uh, larger amounts than 64 without taking up extra spots. It does have a limit, so like 1,024 or something, then it will make a new stack in here. But beyond that, it has, a, a, at its base, it has a capacity for 100, 128 different uh, things in here, I believe. Uh, let's actually read up a bit on that. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, it's actually made out of two parts, the Dimension Storage Actuator uh, and the Dimensional Matrix. The Dimensional Matrix is what you see up here above it. And yeah, we can expand the inventory in it. Uh, but let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, right click with open hand. Uh, yeah, 128 slots which can hold 1,024 each. So I did remember that correctly. And yeah, it's made with three blocks of quartz, an ender pearl, and a gin book to make the, uh, crisp, the, the dimensional crystal matrix. And another stone pedestal, three gold, and a foliot. Uh, fo I th think I've been saying that correctly. Foliot and book to make the base, put them together. Then you can plop, you know, plop it down, and you just have a massive amount of storage. Now with these stable wormholes, you can just make... Bleh, you make, can, make, can make remote access points. What is with me and speaking again today? There, there. I'm, I'm not sure how much of a distance it can cover. I'm presuming as long as both points are loaded in, that it should be okay. And yeah, that's made with a wormhole frame, ender pearl two nether quartz and a foliot book and a wormhole frame you just make with uh, let's see you just make with other stone like this and then you need to put four gold around that uh, let's see and yeah I'll probably remove all of this at some point uh, why did I <laughs> okay there I'll probably remove this storage at some point to make things, well, a lot more stable. Yeah, uh, yeah. actually reminds me, uh, you know those signboards you put on this chest? Yeah, at the back. Those can yeah. also count as uh, entities, I'm guessing. Entities, along with the items you put in them. Yeah, okay, yeah, that explains a lot of the, <laughs> of the slowdown as well. So yeah. I'm guessing these two are going to be out of a job soon. Yeah, this is something I learned from a video on how to... Okay, that's the confirmed then. So, yeah. 
th this one we mm -hmm. learned from just watching a random video long ago. When we tried to play Minecraft earlier. And then I they said common mistakes people do that end up making their base lag bloody heck a lot. And yeah, having two like having a few of these is not bad, but too many of them can cause a lot of issues along with other entities in the area, so yeah, basically do don't overdo it. And I think we can officially say that the uh, Ars Nouveau storage system kind of sucks then. Since, well, you need these to, to have Starbuncle sort things out. And the bookworms just slow things down a lot as well as they fly around. Yeah, here's the thing. I would say it's, it's probably good in a smaller scale. Probably is you did not do small scale. Yeah. Oh, I, I know what's happened now. They've just emptied out... Yep, they just emptied out these into everything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to empty all of these out into this sooner or later then. But for now... <laughs> for now, yeah. let's just dump a bunch of these in here as well. Yeah, I feel like in the future... Maybe don't go this big with everything. Like, like do some things, yes, just... Make sure you do, you get in the stuff that you need. I don't, yeah. I don't have a massive vault of things you never use. Hmm. Okay. Now, I made this thing a long time ago because I think I found one of its uh, component parts. Yeah, another stone tablet. I found this in a, uh, <clears throat> in a chest at some point. So I think we can just make, we can uh, work with this. Let's see, a gin book, two pearls, one quartz, paintings. Yeah. Oh, my small, that. My, my small attempts at uh, decoration have to go down as well. Look, as it is, paint is probably better for you. You don't need too many of them unless you get ready to do an art gallery. Yeah. Uh, let's see, but, yeah. I've done a bit of hunting, so I've got a good amount of... Not nether pearls, ender pearls again. I guess I use this. Have a good big storage is good. Just again, you just be everything. Moderation. This is I have not said in ages. Take moderation <laughs> into consideration. That, that that's actually a good line. Hmm. I should probably look at putting these into some store sort of storage as well, or maybe I should sell them to someone. Because these are also Crusher Spirits. The Jin and the Ifrit. This one works better than this one. Or, well, worst case scenario, I can just gift them. I'm guessing Vanna will probably appreciate one of them. Since she'll be working with a lot of metals and such as the blacksmith. And I forgot I set this up here. Uh, Yeah, this is for... Actually, I probably should just put up... Let me just do this. I finally finished making the stupid uh, ore miner <clears throat> that I promised to make Sensei. And yeah, basically in exchange for that, he did all of the work up there for free. And yeah, this is all set up to uh, for when I can upgrade this to the uh, strongest version. Because at the moment, this is an Afrit miner and it can be upgraded into a Marid Miner, which is the strongest and best version, of course. The problem is it requires Dragon's Breath. And, well, we haven't gone to the end yet, so we can't get that. Oh. So, for the moment, just to make sure that these aren't just working up the entities count as well, I'm just going to put them into storage. There, there, and there. Okay, I should take a look at what is and isn't considered an entity. Like, I'm hoping these skulls aren't, because there's just a bunch of them all over the place as well. Hmm. They might, but... Taking off the signboards is a good start. Let's see. Higher binding. Tile entities, I think. Okay. Does that mean they have less of an effect? Or... Oh, F3. Hitbox is shown. 
Okay. Okay, the skulls and such aren't showing up, but these are. So... Okay, that's good. There, that's another eight gone. And, yeah, it should be easy enough for me to just remember that each of these are for one of these. A Fritz. Jin. And... What, no book for the folios? Or did I just... Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's actually take a quick look around then. Yeah, I'm surprised the signboard did not count. Hmm. Good thing that these lights don't count either. I think I saw a box upstairs. Uh, yeah, these need to go as well. I should yeah. probably re put these somewhere else as well. Yeah, like you can have some around just again. Moderation. Okay. okay, that's weird. It's showing a hitbox in these. But it's not actually doing anything. Okay. I guess, I guess the, it's the, it still counts as an uh, entity, but uh, we, this is entities we need. There. Yeah, with this in mind, it's just really... Well, I just hope that with uh, Ars Nouveau, they'll make a better version of this storage system at some point then. I think this is a case of not many knew of this. If your mother don't know that these keys can cause issues, yeah, you can see the problem. Let me see. I think I'll leave this one for the moment, because that this is just here for turning on this for washing any crushed ores that I find and such. Yeah. But these count. Okay. Yeah, but they are useful. But again, you don't need to remove every single one. True, just need to not have any unnecessary ones. Correct. Okay. Apparently... Apparently, source getting sent around counts as an entity. That's a bit odd. Yeah, again, I do suspect when they made this mod, then they didn't expect people to go overboard as you did. So I, yeah, I'm pretty I sure there's people... people yeah, there's been people yeah. who have gone far more overboard with stuff like this. Yeah. If you're a single player, probably have it a little bit better, especially if they have a good computer. But, yeah, even yeah, a lot of crates of his entities as well, yeah. Probably why I always felt nervous when you, uh, you build, build a massive uh, crate uh, machine in the older maps. For those I could see also causing a lot of issues if you go with a mega build. Don't know why no Mojang made items, frames, and paintings entities. Probably because they're not uh, entirely competent with a lot of things, like... Not to say that they're incompetent, but it's very clear that modders can vastly outspeed uh, what, uh, <clears throat> what uh, the Mojang team themselves can do. Yeah, but uh, apparently there's news that there's Microsoft might be behind it. Apparently Microsoft may apparently give them a lot of restriction of what they may or may not do with Minecraft. Probably one of the reasons... Well, one of the things that you'll never see in Minecraft is firearms and such, but that makes a lot more sense seeing as it's a child-friendly game and such, or at least the base game is. Yeah. <laughs> but it depend things that have been word that they're not allowed to properly improve it for some reason. For they rather have team work on the spin-offs and updates than to fix it. Yeah. This is Guess I'll have to say goodbye thing. to my uh, aquarium then. Okay, I'll leave the otter be. But you even allowed to have it this to begin with? <laughs> Let's see, because marketing needs constant updates to me remain relevant, yeah. I'll leave this shark as well. That's but true. Probably to go. If they want to remain relevant, they probably should also fix it. If they don't fix it and improve it, well, yeah, then people will abandon it uh, for 
yeah, not even working so well to begin with. Yeah, yeah like yeah, that they, as well. they say they're insane considering it's already the most sold game on earth. Yeah, short term uh, shareholder mindset. They'd rather burn the candle uh, for a quick buck than to, well, let it burn for a long time and, well, provide them for a long time. That's a spawn egg. Read. There. I feel like it, that short term mindset is causing a lot of problems. Strength it, a lot of things in general. Going on for a long time. Yeah. Actual little spawn egg, okay. Uh, yeah, I have the capturing effect on this sword. Which means that, well, in a rare occasion, I can get a spawn egg when I kill something. Okay. Just gotta clean out the aquarium. Okay, there was a the few fish. of them hidden in one spot. Okay, this is very good for the fish. Seems... Wait, is it just me or is the fish moving a bit weird? Yeah, they're moving slowly. We're a bit stuttery. So yeah, you may have that issue. The notice question is... Is that ceiling light uh, also an issue? See. Yeah, that as yeah, well. That yeah. It's it's the same with just so many gaming companies, or rather, mo I I think it's mostly more publishers that they, yeah, they would just rather destroy a company rather than uh, give it the actual time it needs to actually make a good product, because they want money now, no matter the cost, even if it means no money tomorrow. Which yeah, luckily not all problems like that. For if I understand right, uh, Coffee Stain, the one behind uh, Valheim and Deep Rock, are yep. light for they have a better respect for the indie devs they work with. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm blanking on their name at the moment, but there is also a, a pub another publisher. Uh, what is their blasted name? I'm completely forgetting. They. They did Shadow Warrior and such re uh, somewhat recently. Um, what is their blasted name? I'm drawing a complete blank. They're also known for rather quirky games. All right. But yeah, there are some um, good publishers out there, but the big ones are definitely the ones that are doing an extremely lot harm. Yeah. So it's, not just the game industry, just, yes. just industry in general. Uh, sorry, go on. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there is just a crash of the big companies coming up within the next five, ten years or such, because they just keep destroying so many companies for the sake of profits, to, to the point that they might not have any companies left uh, for them to actually make <laughs> decent enough products to actually make a profit off of. Yeah, but I think too much on short-term gains than the long-term because of uh, more unemployment, because they try to get as much money as possible, then they complain they don't then don't have enough people to hire. You see the problem there? Yeah. They go it's just an evil cycle. You know, the one positive you could... I guess say about it is that it drives a lot more developers towards indie becoming indie. And hello, Shaskor, how are you doing? Hello there. Is that an umbrella? <laughs> okay. I Rudes. Okay. There, there. Oh yeah. Potion of uh, lily pots. <laughs> oh okay, it's kind of cute to see these shrunk. <laughs> You're just going to keep throwing those at me, huh? Uh, Remy, Sasuke is the broom master, correct? Yep, they are. Okay, that has something to tell you, Sasuke. There is a rival broom master. 
Last time I saw hiding in the Tatum's house. <laughs> Look at yourself. Let's see, which of these mods added such a ridiculous long cooldown to splash potions? <laughs> Not a clue. That, that actually reminds me of something else. Uh, let's see. You're just wasting them at this point. Uh, let's see, I didn't actually make one yet. But Ars Nouveau has potion cannons, I believe. Uh, where is the book? There is the book. Uh, swap those out. Might as well just... Uh, all of this is... Yeah, might as well drop it out in the, here immediately. Since it's going to end up here either way. Yeah, uh, I, I kind of like this for... For example, if it's somehow able to break, it won't explode in items. Yeah. Let's see. Another one I prov provided their medicine <laughs> with. Yep. Oh, I guess you know, have, that... <laughs> as long as I have this book, you know, you know, those things are not going to have much of an effect on me, huh? Uh, yeah. Let me take a look. Uh, mm -hmm. I, okay. I gotta guess that equipment. when they cured, when Sasko here cured a village, uh, zombie village, and it became a broom master out of inspiration. <laughs> Could be. Uh, let's see. Flask cannons can consume potions from bottles and flasks from the uh, player's inventory and convert the potion into a splash or lingering potion to select the potion to be thrown. Use the radio menu. Blah 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 blah. blah. And yeah, they this, all right. <laughs> this is getting ahead of here. Now there's two of them. Two of what? It... Wait, what? It grew masters. <laughs> uh, it... they... Just make sure none of you become the brew master from Abe's Odyssey. Uh, let me see. There's also something else I found among here. Uh, potion flasks. These can store up to eight charges. And you can upgrade them to have extra effects. I'm just going to put that in my offhand. Uh, yeah. Extend. We can, you can enchant these to extend the time of the potions in them by 50%. Or increase their level, but reduce their duration by half, I believe. Yeah, reduce their right. yeah, time in half. So, yeah, with those, for example, if I were to put in one of these into... Actually, I have two of them here. Uh, I think I did put them in here somewhere. Yeah, at this point, I could just... <laughs> Chase you out of here with my combat spells, right? Uh oh. And also, BRB, gonna throw some food into the machine. If I pray, will not be breaking soon for that. The air fryer has been acting weird of late. Uh, let's see. Once you said you are not harmed by them, it doesn't count as PvP. <laughs> uh, where is my healing mirror, actually? Uh, there it is. Better keep that on hand as well. Uh, but yeah, with those flasks, you could make an 8-minute uh, potion last for 12 minutes, or you could make it last uh, for 4 minutes, but at level 2. <laughs> you killed me. If I weren't a snowkeeper, I'd be dead. Uh, wasn't there a contest still going on with that? <laughs> a potion of widening? Should I even ask what this does? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? Oh. Um... White boy. <laughs> I am now wide load. 
Oops, potion of burning. Not falling for that. Could put this into a flask cannon, though. But yeah, I've, uh, I've tr I tried to automate the brewing a bit, uh, but I found out that even though you can have uh, Starbuncle's uh, transport potions, they don't actually pick them out of these. Uh, so yeah, I can automate potion making with Vixies here, similar to, well, blocks, I can tell them to make potions, and as long as the stuff is nearby, they'll make it. I'll probably convert one of the levels of my tower into a bit of a brewing area once uh, the mobs up here have been put into cages. Yeah, uh, actually, more thing like, like, I think Ocean Wars is a good thing, probably as you build your things to be aiding you and not mass producing. <laughs> Scheduling clips my entire field. <laughs> now, now, now I'm just thinking of uh, the Michael, the, the, the parody uh, Wilder Yankovic made of Michael Jackson's uh, bands. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Also, glass can Do you mean glass cannon? I'm a whole... <laughs> I'm a whole fireplace. <laughs> now, glass oh. cannon, which which I can launch uh, potions at others. <laughs> that actually oh, reminds dear. me, there is one... I'm not instant damage. There is a few effects from this. Uh... I think I had them in some... Let's see. I think we've encountered the bomb fruits before. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Bomb gra bomb gra <laughs> bomb granites. Uh, yeah, eating these will give you the blasting effect, I believe, which basically means once the timer runs out, you explode. Don't think it's actually fatal, but unless you're at low health, of course. But it would be nice as just a uh, a way of putting a time limit on people as they have to do tasks or something like run a maze. Oh, like, if dear. Keep <laughs> find the exit or you explode. Could also put it onto mobs. This could be funny, probably. But also disastrous. Uh... Mm. I, I don't think it actually deals damage to the area around it, as in block damage. Uh... Oh, I mean, like, uh, if you use a procedure, it's like, you see a mob with your animal herd, you throw it. You may, you may blow up the mob, but you may also blow up your cattle. Yeah. Okay. Hmm... Yeah, we were making one of these, so I could make the uh, yeah, make this thing work. Let's see. <clears throat> there, there, and there. Let me just put these around. It is the gin book, right? Let me double check. Yep. Okay. Then we just need to put a name on this thing with the book I put away. <laughs> there. Um, there and there, okay. Then we have all we need. Wait, did I put away the... Yes, I put away one of the items. Hmm. Now I'm actually curious that... Uh, that, that fire resistance potion that Shaskor gave me lasted for 16 minutes, so I wonder if that could be extended even further with an extended time uh, flask. Let's see. Maybe? It was. Yep, two eyes, the quartz. Okay, just put these here. Hmm. I can probably get them... I probably should get the starbuncles to empty all of that out into the... Uh, actually, no, I could probably do it with uh, just putting them above... Uh, <clears throat> putting them above the shaft and just have it empty out into a hole or something. Um, yeah, for the moment, though, 
there, there, and there. And this one. Now, what ritual was it again? Higher binding. And that's over here. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. And there we go. Okay, with that, we should have access to our storage at any point. And yeah, for the shits and giggles of it, I swapped out the floor or most of the floor here with sore stone. <laughs> You're just going to keep harassing me with that, huh? Oh, uh, dear. Uh, by the way, if you ever want me to set up a Wixi uh, or to help you with brewing or a potion melder, uh, actually, let's <laughs> let mm, let's just say I I I hereby light allow you to light the. You have my permission to use Ars Nouveau stuff, what uh, as far as the brewing comes and such. So uh, a potion melders, Wixies and such. It should probably help you a bit. No need for pay or such. That's no, 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 no. Don't listen to the captain. We want several blocks of gold. <laughs> I already have plenty of those. Okay, but the... okay, you put down a lingering potion, I'm guessing. Uh, I think most of my stuff already covers that. Okay. Uh, there. <laughs> well, yeah, if you want it, you can use it. Just a single splash potion of infection. Okay. Now I'm curious what you could get if you just combine all the uh, potions, uh, the, all the potions with negative effects and put them into a flask cannon. Uh, <laughs> to see if it would kill you. <laughs> Even then, I, I even then I have the threat of undying that would basically resurrect me or prevent me from dying, and also, well, just a mirror that lets me heal at any point. <laughs> uh, let's see, this is almost done. <laughs> just going to keep trying, huh? Uh, by the way, if you need an ore crusher. At yeah, sorry, that's a bit. I keep fumbling up with that, sorry. Yeah. Uh, if you want an ore crusher, you can take the blue one if you want. You can't really put them into a Pokeball or such, though, so you'll have to carry them. <laughs> yeah, it would be fit to give Vana, I guess. Uh, there was a name, right? Vana? Yeah, they can have the fire one, and <laughs> Shaskor can take the, the water one. If it's fitting for water will be helpful for alchemy and a burning ifrit at the forge. That sounds uh, uh, they're, they're ore crushers. They'll take uh, raw ores and crush it into dust uh, at a multiple yeah, multipl multiplication. Uh, if I remember correctly, the the ifrits crush one into four, and these crush one into three. Uh, I think they almost grabbed it there. They will crush other things like diamonds and such, though. Uh, I already emptied out the ores that I had collected recently. Do I have anything? Oh, right. I just realized. Nope. <laughs> uh, how close to base is the mob room? Uh, not too close, but yeah, they'll, they'll try to crush anything that can be crushed into dust. But of course, if it's already melted or it won't multiply then. And yeah, over here was supposed to be an aquarium, but well, all of the all of the creatures here slow things down. So I only left the uh, the shark. Where are they? I thought you killed the shark. Oh, here they are. Now the shark is here, and a single otter that's currently hiding in the other corner here. Or no, that's that's no. a lizard. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh. That's not. 
I'm pretty sure I put an otter in here at some point, but I guess they must have escaped or died. Uh, also, that's a salamander. Yeah. <laughs> and then a bit further down, and you don't have gills. I get it. They still survive on the water here. And, I think they yeah. still need to go up to breathe. <laughs> oh, you put a been glass there for a while. Them. Uh, really? Funeral theme? <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> and yeah, over here we have the mob grinder. These are. Uh, mm -hmm. Will it just be uh, one of those things that could uh, cause slowdown? Maybe a bit, but they are killed pretty quickly. Uh, basically, these uh, spawners have been set to ignore light and to put the uh, AI or to turn the AI off for them. As you can see, ignores light, no AI. And this ritual over here, well, it kills them and turns any drops and experience into these experience gems. All right. Oh, my food's done. BRB. Uh, okay. Sasuke, please make sure the captain doesn't uh, explode or anything. Yeah, the only problem here at the moment is that it doesn't get fed source from upstairs. So I'll either have to set up something down here for that, or put down some... Okay, that, that was either a cat screwing around with this. <laughs> I'd be the one to explode him. Uh, explode whom? <laughs> the... Yeah, I need to set. I should need to set up a chain of uh, relays to send mo yeah, source down here. Uh, do you want to see what the infection actually does? Uh, sure. We need to get one of these out of here before they actually die. Yeah, I, I can't really turn this on without destroying the tablet. Uh, then again, I picked up some spawn eggs. It uh, wouldn't work on them. Okay, on, on what would it work? Uh, piglet. Okay, I have some extra mobs upstairs. Or extra cattle. Yep. Don't tell me. No. Nope. Okay, he broke loose from his restraints. But someone has been picking berries so that they get scattered around here. So, either he broke out and got back in. Three entities. Let me take a look. Uh, 3B. And it's... Oh, that, one of them is the... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we have the Wixie, the Starbuncle, and the uh, Imbuement Chamber. Don't know why that has a hitbox in there. Oh, yeah, a bit further up. <clears> hmm. <throat> now, let me just throw these in here quick. Uh, oh. There. Okay. Let's get this little piggy outside. Actually, do I have... Actually, probably better if I take one of the cows, since I think I have more... Yep. Okay. See, everyone is alive. The um, except the uh, zombies. There's quite an amount that shows up here. Yeah, that I could see also could be an issue. There's gonna be a a horde every night around here. With Tatum, it makes sense since their origin attracts mobs from a far greater distance. Why were they not burning? Maybe they think they are here? For... May Tatum left some scent? 
But that reminds me, I should show the guild hall, or rather the new one in Pre-Autograss. Got the entity calling mods for all the mobs. Actually, there's something I should pick up here. Uh, where do they store them? Wait, there's a shelf missing. Not that one. Is it this one? Uh, let's take it. Uh, yeah, that's because that I pulled out the one for alchemy and put it over there instead of just moving all of it over. Okay, and they said something about... Uh... Let's see. Also, this is the only place on the server with any players. Where else would they spawn? Good point on that. Good point. Good point. Also, we... That has... There's a slot for that to put it in. Holy. The infection has begun. Okay, counting down to something. Wait. Beef? Yep. Yeah. Nope. Uh, careful, I, uh, I did not mean to use that one. I meant yeah, to use really? this one. All the yours are entity. Yeah. Uh, wait, how do I actually use this thing then? Uh, let me see. Put it in there, and then there's probably a key for it. Uh, wait, it was loud? It wasn't too loud on our end. Hmm. Let's see. Category Cultism. Okay, Storage Accessor N. Stage of Hunger in the Test Subject. <laughs> Why am I getting a. Uh, SCP slash Frankenstein uh, <laughs> feel. They, they are becoming an evil brewmaster, aren't they? Now blindness as well. And the final symptom is... <laughs> Three hearts of damage. <laughs> Was that the prototype? Wait, why a rock si To keep it contained? Should have harmed it first. Okay. Unless they're trying to make a zombie cow. Let me put these away for a sec. Hmm. Let's see, is there any... No, right, that's, that's cast. Half a heart. Okay, any button here that I don't use? J could work from that. Controls, keybinds, occultism. J, done. Hello, Lydia. Yes. Let's see. Yep. What are you doing to that cow? Um, We're Rather, what is what is Shaskor doing to that cow? Let's see, infecting it. Why do we? Why do we get the feeling this is going uh, Last of Us? <laughs> okay, that's doing something, but it's not actually functioning. Almost time now. It's the final countdown for the. <laughs> okay, backing off. Okay, it died and and it didn't work. Let me guess, it was suppo supposed to spawn like an infected version or something. This needs to be a humanoid. It, it, you and... tried to make a zombie cow, didn't you? <laughs> nope. Uh, there is, us. and also yeah, poor cow. <laughs> There's poor an Illager camp to the north of here, where we can probably find a uh, 
volunteer. If you have the effect and hit someone, it spreads. Okay. Yeah, let's go see if we can uh, find a volunteer over this way. There's at least one pillager here. Okay, now we just wait and see. <laughs> hmm. I just had a bit of a thought. Since I can't uh -oh. eat all the meats that the uh, mobs make, I could probably send part of it to uh, Sensei for biofuel. Since I think that's a possibility. Also... Hmm. There... Well, that doesn't work with clothes on, of course. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay. So maybe it really does have to be like <laughs> another player. There's a zombie nearby, but I doubt it would work. And it only works properly on villages and players. Uh, there's no villages that I see nearby. Actually, I, I think I have a few in storage. As it was my last one, there's so many steps to making them. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's just big freaking storage. Let's see. I should have to cure myself of the infection and can't fly anymore. Oh dear. At least it's not too far. Um hmm. Let's see, projectile, launch, and up that, slow fall. <laughs> there. Uh, let's see how this does for travel. If I can get to them before they can get to the tower. Yeah, spell stop. Oh, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, how are you doing today, Lydias? <laughs> it's you. Now, so are you missing me on the stream? <laughs> okay, I, I think I if I put uh, some amplify on this, and then. Uh, a bit of extended time on the slow fall, I could basically send people up into the sky to fly around for a bit. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's not flying, but it should at least help some... Actually, with me it helps because the avian origin can run in the air to sort of uh, fly. So yeah, that that's why I can just go so fast in the air. Hmm. There is a glyph for <laughs> there is a glyph for elytras, but well, you need an actual elytra to have that uh, to get that, and we can only get those in the end. Hmm. 
We should probably try to set up uh, or try to plan out an attack on the Ender Dragon. Now, what button can I actually use for... Let's see, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let's see, controls, keybinds, category, occultism. Uh, ta -ta -ta. C. Okay, it, it makes a noise, but it doesn't actually access it, I think. Let's see, is there something in here about that? Uh, ta -ta -ta. We'll be able to access items from the greater even from across dimensions. Wait, did oh, you... wait, 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 wait. Did I forget to... I forgot to link it. There we go. Yeah, now I can access it. But yeah, there is. Nice. You need to bind a folio into this thing and a gin into this thing. Uh, let's see. All right. One more thing to show, I'd say, is over at the guild hall where Tatum has been busy. Can still access it like this. It, yeah. Holy! This looks they, great! Yep. <laughs> they, they have been using a design they found online, but they have been, well, very busy building it. <clears throat> and yeah, for the ease of things, I provided a flight ritual to, well, make it easier for them to get around. And yes, I also moved my display models over here. And because mobs kept harassing them, I put up uh, one of these, a Ritual Bazir Relay. With this, you can actually have move the effect of a ritual somewhere else, as long as it's nearby by 15 blocks. The actual uh, ritual is buried down here. <laughs> see, villages north of my hut if you want to see the infection in action. Okay. Let's just head on over to their place. Uh, there, Shaskor. <clears throat> I'm half expecting for everyone to ask me to put up a flight ritual at their place soon or later. Because, let's be honest, it's freaking useful for traveling and just getting around. And building. And there is one specific magic book <clears throat> that I've been uh, trying to find with no real luck. One that gives you an elytra effect without having to find the glyph. Uh, it, it works similar to uh, where are they? These books. Where they cost for cheaper okay this is just going to start the zombie apocalypse I think that should be close enough. It did three hearts of damage last time. And now we're just going to keep the beekeeper company. Oh no. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> uh, let me think. Let's see. Okay, nice. You can yeah, need a dragon hat for that one. Uh, but yeah, I should set up the dimensional mine shaft in a bit because I made one for myself as well as Sensei. Huh. Uh, skipping the night. Hmm? Ah, tomatoes. I thought those were the sweet berries. Okay. <clears throat> 
<laughs> They're hangry because they you pissed them off pretty much by punching them repeatedly. Huh. <laughs> Yep, he tried to get out. Oh. Yep, yep, and there they go. Now, okay, now they they turned into a zombie villager. Okay, what? What? so yeah, it what? is just starting a zombie apocalypse. Yep. <laughs> I have high jump and such. Well, I guess we now know Sashkor is a villain. Okay, so that that way you could turn if <laughs> that way you could turn an entire village infected, uh, cure them, and get discounts. There's there's actually one of, there's an, actually a ritual of healing that will instantly restore zombie villagers, and give you credit for the healing. Now they're a mason of all... Okay. I guess they decided to do uh, something else in on life. What? And they were a beekeeper. Now they are a mason. Okay, and once it runs out again on them... Okay, it doesn't actually damage them. Okay. So if you just want to screw with a village and play a uh, reanimator, you can you can chuck a few of these potions around town. Ow. Okay, it actually did five hearts of damage on me. Stars, okay. <clears throat> Let's see, when we requested this mod, it didn't have a proper recipe for brewing it. Okay, so it was moderator only, or admin only. Uh, had one in create for some reason. Okay. What? There, are, there are some things in Create that need to be machine processed to be made, like uh, rail tracks and such. So I was planning on collaborating with Sensei to mass produce them. <laughs> okay. I, I suppose hmm. that the Create mod has the zombie stuff. Yeah, probably it's. That yeah, it was probably to not make it too easy, but then the recipe got fully implemented. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> you get a free head with it as well. Okay. Um, where is my scroll? Where is it? Am I just being blind and not seeing it? Sword by mob or mod. Did I seriously lose my stabilized warp scroll or something? Because I am not seeing it at all. <laughs> um. But is it the mask or they actually transformed? Yeah, it's the head they picked up. Where is that warp scroll? That's a scryer scroll. Um, okay, am I seriously just being blind? Okay, yeah, it really um, does not see. Oh, wait. Really? 
Actually, it's not fully sorted by mod, I think. Hmm. Yeah, just... Tags, name, there. Uh, uh, spyglass, Starbuckle... Look here, it's... Just... It seems like I've lost my stabilized warp scroll. That's weird. What? Hmm. How? No idea. Maybe I accidentally put it away in storage at one point. Hmm. And I was planning on using that to get back. Uh, guess we may as well explore around here for a bit. See if there's anything useful to find. <laughs> With extreme luck, we might even find the, the book I'm looking for. Do, hello, Flawless Inferno Gem. Hmm. That's a lot of melon. Really? Um. That's. <laughs> hmm. There's one mod I probably would have suggested if I hadn't forgotten it, but there is a mod that would allow uh, villagers to repair iron golems. It's a wildebeest. Okay. Anything around here? Yeah, the graphics have been updated a bit. That actually that reminds me. Um, I think a shader pack was included, but I have no idea how to actually use those. Uh, video settings, uh, close please. Uh, video setting up uh, shader packs. Uh, complimentary unbound. Let's see. Well, let's see if this doesn't crash the game. The fact that the music goes quiet does not. Uh, uh... Okay, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> really oh, yeah. good. Uh, let's see. <laughs> also, something I should have done early on or earlier. And uh, there, and not that one, that one, there. Because I've been putting that up to show whenever I'm streaming and such. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this this really looks good. I wonder oh, how yeah. my tower is going to look with this. Probably great, but also probably means... Uh, yeah, even more reasons to be careful with entities. Yeah. Hmm. I'll take that. At least you haven't what? gone overboard with farm animals. True. The only thing I find a bit annoying with whatever was changed with the graphics... Oh, hello. That's the first time I've seen two of these in one place. Uh, the only thing that I find a bit annoying is that... Okay, nice. Is that... Uh, yeah, it, it changed the look of these looter... Of these loot chests. So that they always look like they've already been opened or such. Oh. So that, that is a minor annoyance. Hmm. Yeah, that I can see become a minor annoyance. That's another emerald. A bunch of slime balls. Hmm. <clears throat> no hidden upstairs. Oh. Okay, those are not typically found in the overworld. Oh, sneaky. Uh, those are for Tatum more. And I think, hmm, 
I should probably test just... Can I still use... Yes, I can. Okay, so that doesn't really seem to be a limit to the range that you can have with the... Uh, <clears throat> with these. So, I guess one way that I could set up, like, easy uh, transport, transporting of items to, uh, to Tatum and such is to put down a new... Of a, a new center for these, and then put one of the wormholes over at their place, so they can just always, uh, yeah, grab it whenever they're uh, they want. It won't give them full access to it, but, but at least they'll be able to get the stuff when they'd want it without either of us needing to go back and forth constantly. Some maps. Yep. <laughs> okay, I tried to pick up the emerald, but you got in the way just. <laughs> okay, that's almost killed. That would have killed me if it wasn't. <laughs> yes, I hit you because I tried to pick up the emerald we were both going for. <laughs> and that set, you know, that blew you up, which set off the undying thread. Uh, and that just destroyed that mean, everything here. Yeah, does that mean you're no longer immune to the zombie thing? Yeah. Uh, hmm. It might turn... It might if it kills me, but I still have my healer's mirror. And if need be, I can just zoom away from here. I don't think he can keep up with that. <laughs> Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, I I very much doubt I'll find the magic book I'm looking for here. It's probably more likely in the Nether Fortress or such. So yeah, I'll head I'm heading back to the tower. It looks like Shazgor is going to keep zooming around here. <laughs> Too much Who coffee. Shazgor sugar. Yep. Oh, okay, those don't work in this. Oh. Good to know. Well, that means that I can put up something else for decoration up there. Okay, those, those really look magical oh. now, just zooming around like that. Let's see. Well, that, that, is, that is very bright. It is very, very bright like that. Most... It's like a miniature star. Oh dear god, so bright! Wait, uh, it's bright. Hmm. Uh, Somebody word that people may be drawn to it like a moth. <laughs> Let's actually go take a look at the guild hall like this. Uh, And yeah, the reason <laughs> I hid one of those shulk sensors around here because I found an ancient city and just basically mined it out. You okay. did what? Yep. And yeah, even though Warden still hurt like absolute hell when they managed to hit you, uh, well, with spells and magic swords, they are decently easy to beat, actually. Also, yeah. something I found out uh, when you <laughs> when you go prone and then jump, you will fly like this. Oh dear gods! Also, uh, you mean you mined out every single little piece of the ancient city that is no longer ancient city? Yeah, not to that point, but I did get all the shock sensors, shriekers, and such. Okay, that way. I'd need. I would need to test if. Uh, I think wardens can only spawn in ancient cities, but I could test that by just putting a shrieker somewhere and setting it off multiple times. Probably won't spawn it, but better to be sure than the. Uh, okay, yeah, that won't work. Okay. Also, yeah, I, I 
I just put up a, a wall all around here because they kept getting harassed by mobs. Just a naturally generated streak. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, do, okay. I think the old mobs that the change the mods that change that. Yeah, there's mods for everything in this game. And yeah, I, I'm not joking. Yeah, this would be a lot more like a <laughs> attracting a, <laughs> an attracting flame. Okay, let's actually take a look at more you know, more around the tower in the lower areas. May I look at, at the tower from the outside? Yeah, as well. Uh, don't know if one moved with carry-on would work. That would be worth testing, but we'd need to find a new Asian city then. <laughs> okay, the Ifrit literally has hot pants now. Uh, you mean a hot tornado? <laughs> okay. Did that, this actually reminds me. I was I was uh, playing around, or not so much playing around, but I was trying out modding Watch Dogs for when we streamed that. Again, not going to be too soon with that. Uh, <clears throat> but still better to be, well, ready for it than not. <laughs> Ran so fast, I actually ended up at Tatum's. <laughs> uh, so you speed forced your way uh, from one place to another, huh? Uh, hmm. dear. Oh, yeah. I, I remember I said back maybe the showcase watchdog, and I said, there's highly likely that I will not be joining it. Uh, For, I know. I know there has been a few games that I will not be joining, and Watch Dogs was probably the first one I said I would not not join for it. Yeah, something about the, the game I that did not sit well with me. Okay. Let's see. Ron would probably be up for joining with that. Uh, let's see. And yeah, th this is basically where I put up a, an arena for fighting withers. Uh, I don't have any skulls with me at the moment. And I'd rather not use the ones for the rituals downstairs. Well, that can always set up a few for future fights. It... <laughs> okay, for a moment I thought you actually were putting down wither skulls. <laughs> Oh. That's, what's this over here? Birch Forest? I very much doubt that. Actually, is there an ancient city nearby? Swiftness potions all gives me mining fatigue. Okay, so you can't pick it up. Okay, give me a sec for that. Uh, oh, right, that's going to be annoying. Uh, let's see. Let's change this back. Category Occultism, the J. Uh, there, number two. Turn that into projectile. Oop. There we go. Okay. Um. I can pick up, put that back on there, and there, and there. Okay. Yep. There's some arcane debris over there. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let's see. I was going to look for... Mm -hmm. It's really good for traveling, but makes mining and fighting harder. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Explorer's Compass. But it does make, it make sense for you. You're running so fast that you exhaust yourself. Okay. Ancient City. That way, a thousand blocks about. Is that the place that I found earlier? I think it is. Hmm. One annoying thing with this is that you... One feature I'd like to see added with this is to search for another one. Uh, how did I pull that one out? 
And okay, nature's compass for deep darks in general. He wants yeah, that wants uh, netherite. There. That helps if I have the space. Uh, thinking. Probably. Typically you need to get quite a distance away for these to find something new. Uh, is one of these... Okay, none of these are functional. Okay. Uh, so I guess it's the long way back up. Especially since the, <laughs> the flight ritual ran out. I probably should put some <laughs> railings on these. Uh, yeah! I feel Osha has something to say about this. There we go. Yeah, I was trying to do that. <laughs> okay. Kind of impressed with just how wide a range this thing has for its activation. Let's see. Uh, 87. And it reaches down. Okay, at least it has at least 27. It probably has like a radius of 30 or something, maybe 40 blocks. Okay, yeah, definitely need to swap this out if I'm going to keep th these shaders. Hmm. It's 21 by 21. Maybe I can put up some pixel art or something. Wait, what? Yep. Um, art? Yep, pixel art. Like, you know, with uh, just dots and dots. We could do that yep. with uh, <clears throat> wool or such. I guess... For now, let's just put oh, these away. Make some nice roof lights. Or concrete. That yeah, could as well, yeah. Uh, there, there. These are just going to get put anywhere, but I'd rather have them just be anywhere at the moment than in my inventory, taking up space. Okay. Yep. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. Smelt a painting. Ironically, in Minecraft Country, is the least brutalist building material there is. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else of much interest in these books? I could try making some of these. Oh, I remember something. The dimensional mine shafts. Uh, let me see. The dimensional mine shaft. Yeah, it basically uh, it basically works similar or exact, somewhat uh, similar to uh, like those ore miners you find in a lot of uh, <clears throat> in a lot of science, not science, in a lot of uh, tech uh, mods and such. Uh, let's see, I'm looking for uh, there a hopper. And basically, you just put it down, you provide it with something, like energy, or in this case, a minor uh, lamp. And it'll just generate materials for you. Why are you not... Oh, right, I did not put the zinc in. There. Okay, they don't like the zinc or something. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, probably will look better if I just put that there. And wait. It'll be probably better if I sort this stuff first before every single thing gets crushed, including diamonds and such. So. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. There. Uh, I'll need another one of these. I, I think the game has been slowing down a little bit since I turned the shader on. 
but not too much, I think, slash hope. Okay, put that there, that behind, and this on top. Okay, now we need to put the miner in there to get it to work. But before we do that, uh, let's see. Not light mending. Let's see. I'm. I know I had an enchanted book of mending somewhere, and that should be able to be put on these. Let's see. You, enchantments, unbreaking, mending. So. Mending should be able to be put on there. Did I put it into this place? Uh, yeah, basically with that, what I'm accessing is this. A surprisingly substantial satchel. This is, well, just a backpack, but immediately this size and can't be upgraded. There's still a oh, good amount yeah. of extra storage. You can't sort it, though. And I don't think I'm seeing magic book here um, yeah little bastards have put these all over the place so that's <laughs> trying to sort this out is going to be a pain if it weren't for the fact that I was going to dump it all into the storage system there uh, let's see yeah Squire's oculus that's a some that's something I wanted to make that's actually connected to this thing that people may have noticed here yet. It's a scry crystal. Basically, well, <laughs> you can use it as a camera. <laughs> but yeah, you can act. You can act. You can access those from uh, uh, remotely with a scryer's Oculus. Uh, let's see. Oop. No, that's not the book I'm looking for. But I'll oop, take it. Put all of those in there. Let's see. Can I find it at all? I know I had it at one point, but I just freaking lost sight of it. All of those hats. Hmm. Don't tell me I might have lost that similar to the freaking stabilized warp scroll. So I have no idea how I might have lost that. Hmm. I, I, I don't think I accidentally dropped it because I specifically changed the drop item key to the minus key. So there's this absolutely no chance at all of accidentally dropping something. Not without some gymnastics on the keyboards. Hmm. Where could it have freaking gone? Hmm. I don't really want to put the miner in the mining lamp in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Uh, ban. There we go. I don't really want to put the miner in the well, in the thing without well it being able to repair itself. And now I've just gone a full circle. Where could the stupid thing have gone? Got normal books. Hmm. But that's a book on uh, over a compass. Lower. Uh, and... oh, almost there. That's one of the uh, cosmetics. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I might need to just empty everything out before I can find it. Hmm. How does it look? Uh, like other enchanted books. So, like this one, but glowy. I know there are some mods that... Uh, there are some mods that change the looks of specific 
you know, magic books and such. But that's not on here. Hmm. Okay, I guess for the moment we can put it in. Now I'll just need to remember to pull it out before we end the stream. Yeah. I'm going to presume that I can't make something with mending. Or that I, I can't make a mending book. Yep. Let's see. Mending, life mending. Yeah, there's no recipe for it. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Hmm. I'll have to find a way to sort these out. Or maybe... Hmm. Yeah, I, sh I shouldn't put any... I shouldn't put anything to... To uh, go into here without making sure that it's an ore. That I want crushed. So I'll need at least a starbuncle for that. I can probably make it this one. Just put down something here with uh, a mimic scroll <clears throat> so that it will only be allowed to move those magma block okay. Oop. be our guest use a campfire to... okay <laughs> hmm. still oh, knowing dear. that I lost those things or seem to have lost them Hmm. Okay, I have just absolutely no clue where the hell they may have ended up, though. Let me check any of these other ones around here. Hmm. Uh, these only hold these. Hmm. Let's close the window for its. Really rainy heavy. Okay. Yes, that was four. <laughs> All of these spells. I probably should break down a bunch of them since I probably won't be using them. And I can get ink from them. Wait, what? Not the cats. Magic ink. Now, speaking of, she's been ink? sleeping behind Ooh. me since the start of the stream. Oh, good magical ink. Hmm, could it have ended up in one of... Wait. There it is, a stupid book. Okay. Uh, fire aspect reclaims... May my... Uh, there is my warp scroll. Okay, I must have... I must have accidentally put it into here whilst cleaning out or making space for stuff. Okay. Now, just pull you out. It's not like this thing is going to break at any moment or so. As you can see, it takes a long time to be uh, damaged. Or damaged significantly, at least. Uh, not that. There. Okay, and then we have a miner with mending on it. I do wonder now if that will actually remain if I upgrade it. I can probably test that with just a lower class uh, miner. Hmm. Yeah, I'm presuming as long as I have this in my inventory now, it'll just slowly get repaired. Hmm. I'll probably need to carry it around for a time. Actually, no, once something has been damaged like that, that health bar isn't going to. isn't going away, I think. So let's put it in here. And I'll need to check in on it every now and then <clears throat> to, well, make sure that it's not too damaged. Or that it is damaged enough that repairing it would become visible, at least. Uh, let me think. Um, yeah, let's go make one of these, just for the fun of it, really. And I can probably use that to just check on things. We should also probably make a flask cannon, just for screwing around with that. And uh -oh. yeah, I've, I've uh, 
I've learned now what this reactive enchantment is. Items with reactive have a chance to cast spells when swung. The spell on the spell parchment determines the spell that will be inscribed on the item. So basically, if we put like a, a fire effect, a fire spell on this parchment, and then make a, <clears throat> then enchant something with it, it can it has a chance of casting that spell. Uh, okay. Actually, I want to kind of test that now. So do uh -oh. I have... I have one of these. Let's just clear that out. Okay, put that there. And let's see. Let's go for something substantial. Actually... Hmm. Bye-bye, tower. What if I just put this on here like the, on that horde spell of mine um, what are they trying to get at no idea but the movements are concerning me yeah, that probably is still because there's still a good amount of things around here Okay, they don't teleport to follow me, it seems. Hmm. Maybe having just a bunch of them spawn would be a bad idea. So, let's see. What other spells do I have? You just harm, a we harm, and just a bunch of well, empty spells that I forgot to clear out. Hmm. I wouldn't want it to be something that can actually harm me. So that actually leaves out a bunch of the higher level spells. Hmm. Let me see. Cuts. Yeah, there's more like shears or an axe effect. Not actually damaging. Hmm. Could try something funny like a launch. Just random chance for something I hit to get launched into the stratosphere. Hmm. This only works on blocks, but it would be funny if I could just turn a skeleton intangible and watch it fall through the floor. Leak, uh... which sends it flying into my face. Hmm. Maybe summon wolves. Snare. Hmm. Wind shear only works when something has been launched already. And again, I put I could put a big spell in here. So let's say we start. Hmm. Would it need a form? Hmm. Let's, let's just let's just do it simple. Whatever is going to get hit with this is going to be an astronaut. Oh no. Let's see how strong of an effect this actually is going to be like this. Oh and... no. I'm worried for this one. We can test how uh, good cats are at landing on their feet, I guess. If we In can actually run? find it. How are you already hurt? Okay. Okay, moving oddly slow. Come on, get out from underneath. Is it actually... Is it actually avoiding open space? <laughs> well, it landed on its uh... feet. <laughs> Okay, concerning also concerning the way it moved. Yeah, oddly sluggish. Could be because we're still close to the tower. Uh, two. There. Okay. 
Um, yeah, now I just need to inscribe that onto the scroll. Okay. There. Okay. Um, there and there. Then it's a block of source gem, or a source gem block, and a block of lapis, which I kept over here. Okay. There, there, and the scroll. Okay, now we just need a sword to put it on. I don't really want to put it on one of my better ones. So... Hmm. I guess it would be fitting to put it on his crossbow or such. And let's just put it on a normal sword. It's a stone one. Probably a bit of a waste, but this is more for testing than anything else. So one. Okay, I'm guessing we just need to do it like this. Yep. <clears throat> it requires source to inscribe it. Now I'm half curious if I could just put this on a stick and then just make it a massive knockback <laughs> yeah, a spell. <clears throat> That'd be concerning. Okay. Now, let's see. Something to send into space. Some otters around. There's a bison. Why, does this, why is there so many otters around here? No. 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 Okay, we saw that it works. Just, well, didn't get to see if it worked to its fullest power. Can we send the trash panda into space? Can we make Rocket Raccoon? Oh no! Yeah, not before it dies. Hmm. You kid rocket. Um. Okay, it's this not is rather the... still. Oh. There we go. I guess this is a way that you can have two spells on one sword. Hmm. Oh dear. If there is a way to increase the amount or the, the chance of it happening. Uh, let's see. There. Okay, that that's pretty. It's oh yeah. Blaze powder no, no, can... essences. I can't help you wonder, is, are sh the shaders making things sluggish, or...? That could be a part, maybe. Hmm. So that would be more for local stuff, I think. Or with my, with my computer, not the server itself. I think. Yeah. Hmm. Actually... Before anything else... Uh, let's see, where are they? Red Encyclopedia. There should be an Enchanter's Bow and Crossbow in here somewhere. Or did I put those away somewhere else as well? Because I kind of want to put that launch spell onto one of these, or on one of those enchanted weapons. Um, at there... Projectile, conjure water, snapshots. That's just a... Uh, yeah. That's basically the same that's on my Ice Storm sword here. To basically deal with AoE stuff. Would it be good uh, to put in a crossbow or something? Yeah. 
And just checking for where the bow is. It's supposed to be here as well. Let's just sort that. Hmm. Yeah, there. It's, it's a tough flare and amplify. Ah, uh, right, because this thing already has fire inscribed on it, or it has flame enchanted on it. So this should basically just light up anything that's it hits. Okay, on the second hit, it does. Okay, and this one... I actually need arrows because this not does, this doesn't have infinity on it. So we actually need to carry around some arrows for it. There. There. Okay. Just load one in. Wait. Yep. Wait, are even the mobs moving stutterish? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's move somewhere safe. Or safer. Options. Video settings. Shaders. And let's just return to normal. Let's see, does that affect them as... No. Is that too much emphasis or there's something else going on here? Hmm. I think it's probably just too many things at once because just everything is spawning around here. Uh, but yeah. Hmm. Let's take this one. And then we inscribe... Oh, uh, wait. Was it? No, that's the uh, quote-unquote travel spell. Actually, there and there. Should always keep one of these around. Okay, this is the one. Yep. Ah, right. There. There. And there. There. Okay, and now we basically have a bow that uh, turns mobs into fireworks. Uh oh. Wait, what? Wait. Okay, why are they not being affected? Oh, there we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> um, I, I think it might have stacked up the effect. Well, I guess that's a clip. Uh. Try to remember that one. There and there. Odd that it doesn't seem to launch them every time. Hmm. And what is going on with that? Maybe it has to do with the stutter? Maybe. It is launching these blocks though, it seems. Maybe that's what's going on. You're not hitting the mob uh, point on or something. Yeah, right. Endermen will jump away from arrows. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, what the... Uh, why is there stuff glitching across the screen? 
Uh, canceled. Uh, okay, just double checking. What? What even is that actually that's showing up? Uh, looks like a. Yeah, that's the you know, I first moment I thought I was glitching out the server. Okay. Good. What is that? Oh. I think I know what that is. Wait, what? Uh, yep. What, what, what? It's the contraption glitching out. Okay, I thought it looked familiar. Hmm. Yeah, but if if this is going if this is going to be a bit iffy with a bow, I could probably I should probably slap it onto a sword. That should have a better effect with it and less uh, chance of just landing the, the environment. Launching the environment into space like a reverse comet. I, I, I think bears are similar to like dragons in that they they'll spawn in any place that it the game counts as a cave. Like I, I've had to evict dragons like five times from my tower. Yeah, do do, do watch out for for that land of this mo uh, that mod. Bears will spawn in caves and surface. However, cave bears respawn in caves as well, even deep caves, and they are stronger than regular bears. Okay. So watch out for those, and hello Tatum! Hey Tatum, hello I overslept, nah. Yeah, better overslept than underslept. Are we doing well? I'm mostly just screwing around with uh, trying to enchant stuff at the moment. Pardon? Uh, actually, I just got a bit of an idea. Let's see, just need to get two diamonds and need the space to uh, have them. There, there, there. Put all of this stuff away. There. Okay. Two diamonds. Actually, I think I need more than that. Take the whole freaking stack. Some gold. One stick, of course. Because we need to make a diamond sword. There. And let's see. Yep, two blocks, two gems. And one diamond. So... Yep. Yeah, close enough. One, two. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five. Then we stick the sword in there. Okay. Correct spell, correct spell. Come on. I don't know if that's caused by lag in the area or if that's just from the game or something. Okay. There. Oh. Okay, why is this why is this one turned red? Hmm. Huh? I I didn't know they could change color. I, I don't think I've ever seen them change color at all. It's evil. It might it might mean that the 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 spell is too powerful or something. Hello, <laughs> nitwits. Okay, with I think with the nitwits it means that they well they're basically too dumb to hold the <clears throat> to hold the profession. But they can <laughs> they can become an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, this is such a simple spell, but it's so freaking funny and effective. <laughs> oh, back for more. I just realized, you still have sugarcane around your base. Uh, not this, you know, there's bamboo here, but the sugar cane should be a lot more... It's actually teleporting back down, I think, instead of actually... Yep, <laughs> it's cheating. Okay, let's break this. Yeah, for... Okay. I know also that the sugar canes can cause lag if you have too many, you just allow them to grow too big. And then have a massive lag spike when you... About to cut them down. Okay. Just store some random stuff. I l I'm pretty sure that I limited the amount of uh, stuff up here. Yeah, your forms here should be fine for. Let's be honest, this is probably unusually small uh, uh, for what you usually make. Yeah. So yeah. These are limited in their growth. So that shouldn't be an issue anymore. Yeah, but, honestly, yeah. all the yards over there is an issue. Hey, Shaskor, you want to try my new sword? <laughs> This is just stupid, but it's so effective as well. Uh. They're lost in the case. Oh. I think I know how we say them. We I hit got... them with the sword. Uh, I could come find you and then dig you out. I can, I can actually go quite deep without actually digging stuff up with. Uh, oop with this phase through spell. It does, well, phase back after a certain amount of time. Also... Let's see. Found a huge iron vein. And iron is what I'm looking for. So I'm... Okay. And yeah, you could also name this spell Life Burial. Oh... Less effective with spiders, of course, but... It's still a useful spell for just getting into places and such. Hmm. Alright, there's Tatum. Uh, let's see... Uh, right. Uh, with this, with this crossbow, I put on the uh, crescendo of bolts power. Yes, not power up. Uh, enchantment, which basically means that I get to fire it multiple times before I need to reload it. Ooh, a repeater. Yep. Nice. And did you fix the lag yet? Uh, I've removed a lot. I've removed the bookworms. I've removed a bunch. Well, I've basically removed all of the fish in the fish tank downstairs. So there's a, uh, there should be a lot less slowdown. Hmm. You, you, you wait, Captain. You didn't remove all the fish. Now there's one left, Bruce. Uh, dear old Bruce. That's... Hmm. Actually had a bit of a thought just now. If I just use enough iron, I could basically change the entire floor here into, uh, into hoppers and then have it feed all of the... That way it would catch all of the source gems and can move them to, uh... <clears throat> To uh, one of these. Maybe. I still feel like maybe you should watch that video. Oh, see if they know uh, all the Minecraft videos uh, to see what can cause a lag. Yeah. Or stutter. 
Wait. Have I been picking up the arrows, or have I just not used any of them? Because I still have a... a I probably picked up some from a skeleton or such. Uh, let me check. Okay, it has been using them. And then I can just pick them back up again. Okay. Way too simple and way too funny. <laughs> Wait, did that one die? It, it burnt up before it even <laughs> landed again. Okay. Uh, I think all of this stuff that's been falling to the ground may have also been slowing things down. Let's just pick up a bunch. Oh, wait. L look in the ho uh, towards the forest. The forest that's basically all around? About the uh, that may have been contributing. The heck is... Oh, he is synth. Yeah, this includes wild ones, even people. If you see a wild one, you just let it keep growing. No, don't, just cut it down. That's... Hmm. Okay, it's... That's odd. Did I put away the... Oh, wait, I, I remember now. One of the backpack, the backpack that I made for uh, <clears throat> putting away dirt and such, I think I left it at the guild hall. So, there, there, there. No need for the storage lectern anymore at the moment. Okay, yeah, let's go collect that again. I, I, I think I left it here because Tatum needed experience for repairing their stuff. And, yep, there it is. Okay. And yeah, good thing to also store my experience in, in just in case I do end up getting killed by something. Yeah, you left your backpack. Woo! Woo! <laughs> and Tatum just jump scared. <laughs> and Rick here. Why, you little... Was, uh, let's, <laughs> let's see if this, uh, this... This will hurt a bit, but probably not too much. Yep. <laughs> Voice chased even. <laughs> oh. Well, no even. <laughs> I I just put a massive launch spell on this sword. <laughs> so yeah, it'll just right. catapult anything I hit with it. Like this donkey. <laughs> Um, uh, I, I should name this thing just NASA. I think that was a Mjolnir donkey, by the way. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, oh, you. Uh, anyways, uh, kick him here. Okay. Um, mobs can come up here. Okay. Um, let me see. Was it this one? Uh, uh. Anything the same with here? Okay. Oh, they shouldn't be able to. Um, still. Let's see. Let me just quickly change this. Mage block amplify. Like spiders and stuff are jumping, like jumping here, like. I 
Maybe put one here to just to be safe. Hmm. I could probably just raise the entire thing to a point where yeah, it's just it's level all around to avoid stuff it's like just this. A temporary wall to keep me safe, so. Yeah. Hmm. The other thing I could do is just dig a giant trench around. That should also keep them out. <laughs> yeah, that would need more work to put back again. Uh, let's see. Not a army of wolves. Progress going well with the hall, it seems. Yep, there they went. Hmm. Just had a bit of an idea of changing the spell on this just a tiny bit. Uh oh. To actually make it less lethal. <laughs> so I can just hit people with it and then just watch them slow fall down. So that way I can just give a Pika a poke with it, for example. It's 10 stacks of iron. Yep, yeah, I could also put slow fall on the sword to uh, have it not be lethal. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, so yeah, that's uh, a little iron. Let's give this thing a check. Okay. Now, if I keep it in my inventory, it's going to heal up again like it should. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, that, that heals real fast. Nice. Okay, so I just need to pull it out every so often. I do hope that that remains when it gets upgraded. After we've, well, faced uh, the Ender Dragon. That actually reminds me. Uh, let's see. Dragon Breath. How much... Cannot be used for sigil of pocketing from apotheosis. Not a clue what that might be. Yep. Really, you can make linger. All oh, right, you can make lingering with things with it. Uh, infused dragon breath. Okay. Uh, it's needed for a lingering flask cannon. For the wall. And linger glyphs. Let's see. We're getting a lot of empty bottles when we find the end. Yeah. <laughs> we we probably should just bring a few stacks of it. Great evasion. Possessed shulker. Very familiar. Keeps other familiars from dying, drains enemies of their life force, and heals its master and the familiars. All right, because you can have two of these familiars at once. And yeah, it's needed for the Merid Miner. Yep. Up, up for GX, I'm presuming this there meant with that. So let's see. What can this be used for? End shelves. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> They're performing Let It Go. Wrong type of frozen. Let's see. Looks like I'll just need three of these myself, but probably better to have both as many, yeah, as many as we can get. So I don't think you can actually get. Oh, okay, you can get it from a uh, cage mobs, and and <laughs> by grinding the head. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, that's concerning. I should maybe look at asking Shaskor to make a, a big, uh, a big fluid tank. Now Ink's gotten off of her lazy butt and is now dancing between our legs. So either she wants food or she wants feet scratches. Because yeah, this cat is still just obsessed with feet. Uh, yep, this Sensai fluid tanks. But it, because there's the there is a mod for 
fluids source, I believe. Let's see, fluid source, fluid source link, liquefied source. Hmm. Yep. Ink. <laughs> It has been a bit since I could put this on again. So there. But yeah, it would just be I would just be curious to see how how big of a container of this I could fill. Okay, that reactor can't really be put on anything, it seems. Yep, now she's on the desk. Food should be plenty filled, a little furball. So Bunkelmania. Yeah, liquefied source that can go into create fluid tanks. Okay. Let if I get up, if she jumps off the desk, then it's food she wants, even though she hasn't even gone to check if the food buckets are full or not. Or buckets that how would you even call those again in English? <clears throat> Anyways, if, now she's just putting her butt in my face. So let's see. If I get up, and if she jumps down, then it's food she wants. And yeah, it's food she wants. So <laughs> BRB in a minute. This will probably just be es <laughs> me escorting her downstairs. Oh dear. Yep, she just wanted to be escorted to the food. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Now. Uh, let's just make another one of these. Two gold. Uh, da, 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 two of these. Okay. There and there. I'm mostly doing this because I kind of want to have a lethal version of this and a non-lethal version. Okay. Then the rest of these can go back. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five okay then we just need to test out how long <clears throat> how long a slow fall duration would need to last to bring something back down safely from atmosphere are, are you going to use your two friends as test subjects for this no maybe <laughs> Up for them to discover. Run! Uh, let's see, where did I put it? I oh, right, it was on the this one, the combat book. Oh, wait, I, I can make it even stronger. Okay. Uh, there. There. Okay, swap these out. Hmm. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay. And amplify times ten because the the yeah, putting a spell on this. Adds one amplify anyways. Okay. <clears throat> then we take our new blade. Put that down. Okay. Then we add slow fall. 
and extend time there. Well, wait. Does the does the color of the book affect the way it the color it turns? Maybe. Hmm. Huh. Let's find ourselves a volunteer. Boing. Uh -oh. Let's see, there's a skeleton horse, there's a dragon here. Let's see. Uh, oop. <laughs> well, when pigs fly and all that, huh? Oh, dear. <laughs> nope. Now I'm kind of curious. Could I juggle whatever I launch up like this? Oh. Okay, I might not even need... Oh. Hmm. Slow falling two. Oop. Hello there. Uh, <laughs> I was just to tell them to run. No, I, I saw they're under the flight effect, so that didn't hurt anyways. <laughs> didn't I didn't know that slow falling could be upgraded to a second level. Well, it does make sense. Um, let's see. Maybe if I change up the spell a bit. Uh, let's see. Put slow fall on first. It cannot be on... Okay, it can't be amplified, apparently. Uh, extend time. Launch. And then just amp the fuck out of that. There. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, now it's... Now all the amplifier goes into the lines. Oop. Hello. Potion of Levitation and Slow Fall. <laughs> okay, thanks. What are you planning with these? <laughs> uh, that, like, yeah, the shulk, no, not the shulk, yeah, the shulker effect. <laughs> That's why it's in red. Uh, let's see. I think I remember something like, hmm. Oh, now I just had a dumb idea. I haven't touched it at all yet. Uh, let's see how high we can go with it. No, hey, Tatum. You want to test out the liftoff effect as well? Uh, let's see. Uh, if you're talking, I I'm not hearing. The, the yep. like, levitation to begin with. Yeah, but I'm just screwing around with seeing if I can launch things with this sword and then have them land back safely so I can surprise Pika and such. So I can pull a I can pull a volunteer out of here. Oh. Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. This is the right one. Yep. Bye bye. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, wait, there's one else up there. Yeah, that's Shaskor and <laughs> Tatum flying there. Ed, yeah, just that's enough to bring them down safe. Can I remove? Can I do that without the extend time? I'll probably keep it on there just to be extra safe when I launch someone. But well, <laughs> things need to be tested after all. Launch. Oh dear. Amplify. There. Yeah, it also needs to be tested if this. Uh... No, hold on. If if I'm correct about the color of the book affecting it, okay, that is maximum amount. Slow fall and then launch. Uh, where'd they go? Yep, there you are, trying to escape, huh? <laughs> there. You're not going anywhere oh but up. <laughs> uh, 
It would be funny if it just cuts out right now. Okay, yeah, that, that's show slow falling. Just a... <laughs> <laughs> just what did you do? I take fall damage, you know. <laughs> oh right, they're still in the slow fall. Let's see if we can. Yeah, another hit will probably kill them. Okay, I, I, I think I'm still a bit dumb phone over. Uh, I, how did you die, Tatum? Yeah, yeah they do still take fall damage, like they said. The nullifier yeah, but... didn't allow me to patch myself or anything. <laughs> Let me help you catch up to him. I hit myself with nullifier as well, and I barely drank another potion before I hit the ground. <laughs> I'll probably, like, flip it on your channel, actually. Are you blowing bubbles at me? Bubbles. Bubbles? I don't know that's cute or concerning. And that's another Blubbles. clip. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. The sun is coming down, so we'll have plenty of volunteers showing up in a bit. I kind of want to uh -oh. see if I can just juggle something. Just well, hit it with the safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> yeah, they heard you, but yeah, what you were talking about with concerning. Yep. Yep. <laughs> we made a salamander a flying fish. He'll no. What do you mean concerning, Drakir? Um, the captain juggling mobs. Let's see. Let me, let me actually see. Uh, Nick, it was just a screen on the stream. It wasn't the camera, but still, it was just. Be... <laughs> Let's see. Stick. Can we actually... Hmm. Oh, dear. Okay, doesn't actually look like it. It would be funny if we could just put reactive with the launch spell on a stick. <laughs> I think we probably happy for it. Uh... Okay, why is it not showing up in here then? Okay. Uh, let's see. Right, we were going to take a look for the Scryer Scroll. And I got a bit of an idea for a prank with those now. Yeah, pick his uh, birthday today, yeah? There will be a yeah. stream. They will be streaming party games for that later, for which I'll try to join. Just a moment. Mm hmm. I need to put cable into the headphones. Uh, let's see. Y'all may be able to get the benefits of stronger potion effects from spells and origins, but I'm the only one who can take them away from you. Boobs. <laughs> uh, what did you say there, uh, Captain? Yeah, that's what Tatum said. Rude. Uh, rude! Okay. <laughs> what did you hear? I didn't hear really. I, I was only sure he said boo or something. <laughs> I must have heard a ooh, ooh, something, something. I was wondering what? Right, I'm gonna take off my headphones for now. Hmm. Bit of an Top idea. Cable. Yeah, we do not have a boop potion in this mod pack. <laughs> Uh, let me see. A nice blinking green. 
bigger. There. Now I can hear again. Okay, welcome back. Bad. <laughs> Uh, as Shaskra says, there's not a noob potion in this mod pack. Yep. There you go. I guess my headphone turned itself off. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Reason Hello, I'm doing Pika. this. If... Hey, Pika, how are you doing today? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, and we speak of the trolls. They we are come below the bridge and out of the forest. <laughs> uh, yes, people, that's this uh, Swedish saying once again. Or probably Scandinavian saying. It's the old version of uh, speak of the devil. Okay, there. That should... Yep, that cleared out some more of those. There. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've been. I had a stupid thought, and well, I have this sword I now call the Fly Swatter, and you'll see in a second why I call it that. Let's see, it's not a Norwegian saying, so speak for yourself, Drakir. I said a Scandinavian, at least I thought it was a common Scandinavian. Maybe it's just a Swedish one. So, yeah, I now have the power to turn any zombie skeleton or anything else roaming on the surface into an astronaut for like two seconds. <laughs> Let's see. Thank you as woken up to breakfast in bed. <laughs> okay. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to uh, party time later. What? What? You'll be a... Hear the doorbell? Okay. Fireworks. Okay, I didn't actually think that the mobs could move in midair, but apparently they can. Zoom, zoom. So yeah, if I'm ever bothered on the surface again. <laughs> Where's that one going to land? Of course. <laughs> Let's see, one on Earth, like, I keep getting an additional 30 seconds to my levitation. Odds? <laughs> this is just, it's just way too simple, but it's also way too fun. It hardly uses any swords. Let's see, zero and just keep ascending. Okay. There's the contraption glitching out again. <clears throat> uh, anyways, enough playing around. Let's go take a look. For... Yep. <laughs> now they're falling. Let's see. Can't see them on the... Oh, there they are. Or somewhere there they are. Let's see. There and there. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> there, the tower looks. Thanks, Pika. It's, uh, Hardly the best of work I could do, but <laughs> it's still pretty good. We're good enough as a, a, a YouTuber I like called North of the Border likes to say. I think, 
Okay, now let's actually test if my theory about the color changing with the book is actually a thing. Um, let's see. Harm, luck, amplify. It's... <laughs> It is now, Pika, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, yeah. Let's try this one, since it's the simplest spell on it. Okay, let's try with this one. Let's see, lucky break, no, phase through. Mm -hmm. Let's do this one here. Um... Mm -hmm. <coughs> Pardon. <clears throat> Let's see, not explosion because it actually causes damage. Or we could just do harm. There, just... Hmm. Okay, that did not change this, the color of the blade. Welcome back. Welcome back. A bit of a surprise visit. Let's see, there's a chicken jockey here. Those are pretty rare, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, do, do they do more damage or just bloody faster? Just faster because, well, they get run around by a chicken. Um, Let's see. Hmm. Why are these colored differently? Maybe it's a certain... I think they're slower? Okay. Um, let me try recoloring the book. See if that has any effects. Uh, wait, what did I miss? Uh, Tatum found a spider jockey. Not a, yeah, uh, spider, not a, a chicken uh, jockey. Which Not is, that uh, part. Um, more of what I see what Pika is talking about. Uh, oh, yeah. That, I launched a mule into orbit. Oh. Okay, let's try this. Put that back. Is this going to change the blade? Hmm. Okay, it changed it, but it's red again. So. Hmm. Does that mean it's like a, maybe it means that the spell is too powerful and it's getting limited or something? Hmm. Let me take a maybe quick screenshot. Uh, books. Let's do a quick check on that. Notebook. Enchanter sword. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, it doesn't say anything. Okay, I'll need to ask about it. I should also look into this some. Um, runic Chalk. Uh, it can be used to place permanent runes on the ground that will cast spells on entities that walk over them. To give each rune a spell, inscribe par spell parchment using the scribe's table. Once the rune has been cast... Uh, once the rune has cast the spell, it will become uncharged. An uncharged rune will charge itself from nearby source jars. Using rune chalk on a temporary rune will convert it into a permanent one. Okay. All right. Uh, hmm. Let's see for a sec. There should be... Yep, there's rune as an effect here. Okay, so touch. Then rune... Uh, slow fall, and then launch. Okay. There. Now, if I use this, come on. There we go. Okay, it basically becomes a one-time use landmine. <laughs> Just you're paddling towards me. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, now let's remove that. There we go. It, it still slow falls. I can remove that. Okay. <laughs> oh, bloody heck. Okay, enough of that. Yeah, I could use rune chalk for, yeah, just setting up healing stuff and such. Like, if I walk in here, I just yeah, get, <laughs> get all sorts of spells cast on me to heal and repair things, maybe. Uh, but yeah, we were going to look at, where is it? Some Oculus thing? And the Scryer's Oculus. Is that on the machines? Ah, there, Scryer's Oculus. An Observer, Diamonds, Source Gem Block and a Spyglass, and an Eye of Ender. Also, let me just dump a bunch of stuff. There, 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 and there. Okay. To store these more important ones here for a sec. Okay. <clears throat> so that was an Eye of Ender. So one of these, one of those. An Observer, a Diamond, Source Gem, Block. Okay. And a spyglass. I think I have a few of those somewhere. Oh, yep. Okay. Really, you could put reactive on this? Okay. Uh, let's see. Observer. How do you make those? Yep. Lunar Observatory Basket of Papers? Oh, it's from Clutter. That's furniture. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's simple. Just cobble, two redstone and the quartz. Okay. One, two. One. And then just go grab a bunch from here. Okay. There. Okay. And then we put these together for the Eye of Ender. Okay. So that's one. Two, three, and four. There, maybe that will help a bit. Okay, I spy. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Place a scryer scroll on a nearby pedestal. Uh, I think you want to leave a Tatum said. Uh, let's see. <laughs> With my little eye. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Something blue. <laughs> um, I had that song stuck in my here. head. Hmm. 
Hmm. Did I put them in here? Yes, I did. 21 of them. Okay, so... For now, let's put it over here. Okay. Can I place you so that you're no, you are you're only with the the feet down. Let's see. What else does the book say? Allows you to remotely access sky crystals to use place sky scrolls on nearby pedestals and interact with the oculus to select which sky crystal you would like to access. Okay, must be chunk loaded. Hello again. Oop. It's really. <laughs> uh, the thing looks suspiciously out like Saskor. <laughs> I've also got. I've already got. Uh, is no one going to? Uh, the sky Tatum, I guess. I already have an idea for this thing, or just a joke. Uh, the captain? <laughs> okay. For the record, he named this thing because it's just... <laughs> it's uh, slanted like that, so... Wait, <laughs> who was right? Yep. Uh, again, sorry, I'm just, I'm just here with that, so... <laughs> Uh. <clears throat> no, wonder who was right? Uh, there. Oh, I was right! It was the captain! <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. The guild hall is green, yeah. And brown. Yeah, I was pondering <laughs> on that. I'm feeling, uh, I was thinking there's no way they already re repainted that thing. And I was unsure if the wall would count, but it was the only temporary wall around it. Let's see. Use on the scribe's crystal to bind the location to the scroll. Oh, wait, did it bind all of Yes, that bound all of them. Uh, Home Pika! I keep sneezing. <laughs> I just read what they say. I don't want to scream properly loud, dude. Since, well, yeah, I don't want to disturb the neighbors. Oh, make him worry. Let's see. Oh, okay. So you make these by just yeah, clicking a scroll onto uh, the crystals. Uh And I guess now we can set up a Five Nights at Freddy's thing. Also, since ink left, I can turn that off. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Yeah, we be careful there with that, Captain. Let's see, Enchanter's Eye can be inscribed with a spell at. At, at the scribe's table. No position set. Use this on the scribe crystal or hold. Okay. Yeah, here's those crystals. It's. Okay, just a source gem and an eye of ender. You know, wh why are we given this item? Uh, I guess you could use it to just check up on things. Uh, let's see. In one of these. Let's see. Pika, me double chin cackling because FNAF. <laughs> okay, there and there. Okay. Okay, I might need to change it up a bit.
Let's see, if I put that here then. Got that one. I'm guessing you can name them. Oop. Okay, that's yeah, odd. I, I can suspect a move for like, uh, he'll make sure that uh, there's nothing in front of your door. Yeah, that could, yeah, it could work for that there. Uh, let's see. Now, if I name these... Can I name these? Let's see. That's, uh, actually, yeah, let's be honest, people. I think many people have had times there where they just try to leave the bees only to see walk right into a damn creeper. Yeah. <laughs> Spying on us? <laughs> well, not really, since it's not really Spine working. Where do you go? Where are you? Damn it. Oh, right, there is. I see like, a yeah. bit of a joke based on Codon.io. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, not saying cut an I.O., but it, when I heard them they, in this short say it, I realized, oh, it's a parody of cut an I.O. of a wizard banishing this parody. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's the same artist for... Uh, uh, I cast spell artworks. Okay. Uh, wizard Wars. Let's see. Yeah, we could maybe try to set up like a a FNAF thing or something with these. Hmm. You mean like Five Nights at Helium? <laughs> Five Nights at the Archmage's Tower. And for now, I can think of something to do with this. So let me just grab that. Um, let me see. Do I have any of the around still? Uh, actually, I can just make more. There. <laughs> yeah, the more thing, but I feel like more that this scrying thing is more meant to be a security thing. Yeah. But you keep uh, looking around the base for doorways and such. Hmm. I'm going to take a quick look. Okay. Oak. I may pay them tinier. Oh. But that, but what? That... <laughs> uh, now, now they're uh, tater tots. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not even half a block. <clears throat> uh, what was the name again? Let me do a quick look. I think I can crouch under a slab. Yeah. Let me put it. Uh, yep. yeah. There we go. Dream post? Okay. Yeah. There. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you reacted on stream. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, adorable. 
<laughs> mm. Your book is spinning in my face. <laughs> Let's see. Can I? Yep. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Don't lift them by the ears. That's <laughs> rude. That's very rude, Captain. Oh no. Thank you. At least, at least you didn't pull them by their wings. The... I don't have the book on me. Oh no. So uh, I got a, I got a secretary installed. Wee. There we go. Oh no! I get the joke. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. There. Mm -hmm. Yes, cry scrolls, crystal. Uh, where? Are those flask cannons? There's also this that I don't think I'll be, probably be using myself because it'll take up an armor spot, I think. Or actually, head. Do we have something? We do not have something there. Okay. It's only glass bottles, and it, it's basically one of those booze hats, but magical. It looks better. Like, I think it looks three. Uh, do, do. If it's just a chrome with three bottles attached to it, then it, uh... And also for FNAF lore? FNAF lore is good. I haven't really kept up with it of late. Uh, it's driven mad path hop insane. <laughs> right. Uh, FNAF is definitely... Uh... A showcase of how you can do a try spying now. Uh, I can't because I removed the this the eye spy plus the device that I need to spy is actually your secretary now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, FNAF is definitely a, a showcase of how vague lore can uh, help a franchise or a game. Though too vague can also. That makes his way less funny. Did <laughs> did you put something in front of it? <clears throat> yeah, I, I think at least the books are having their lore be mostly consistent. Uh, the books are can but also self-contained or something. Hmm. Certainly not. Okay. Uh, one of like the things that MapPad has been going on is that there are parallels. After yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Social distancing on the uh, the secretary? There's a sign. Hey. <laughs> I declined your cook. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Oh dear. I kind of want to put it somewhere where it doesn't get connected oh, to by the glass. <laughs> I guess I could make, put it here or something because I doubt too many people are going to be walking in here. Everyone one. There. What's making that... Oh, it's the beacon making that noise. Okay.
Oh uh, dear. Okay, nothing that. I probably should put up a beacon myself at some point. What do you need for those again? Let's see, another star, some obsidian and glass. Okay. Now I need nether stars for other things as well. I need a location to put it on uh, in the center of the all. Hmm. Uh, do I have any extra Widow's Cotton Skulls? Because getting those can be another pain in the neck. Those were Enderman heads. Actually, I know I know of an easy way to get more of them. Not easy-ish. Hmm. Let's see. Let's chance. I forgot I added a spring launcher to my storage system and just got flung into the ceiling. <laughs> Why add a spring launcher to your story system? Let's see. Anyone unemployed around here? Let's see. Okay, the place is a bit abandoned. See, because it's a hassle to walk back around the shelf to get to the stairs on the second floor. <laughs> I probably should set up something with bees at some point as well. I think I am hearing laziness. Honey. Let's see. What can this actually can this actually be used for much for magic stuff? No. Hmm. And blocks. Those stairs are covered in vines. It's annoying. <laughs> oh, they would need it for that. Hmm. Oop, there's someone. Yoink. Okay. Let's make our way back to the teleporter. There. Okay. And then it's this ritual site that we need. Or was it this one? Hmm. Let me check. Where did I get stone buttons? Gesundheit. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Wild hunt. Okay. Copper, netherrack, soul, uh, sand, silver, gold. Yeah, it's a bit of an expensive one. Okay. Um, copper, gold. Silver, luckily I have plenty of those. And there, put those away. And they're just dumping it anyways. Uh, let's see. Another rack, soul sand, and a diamond. Okay, soul sand, and nether rack, okay, uh, now let's put it all in one line, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it is six, right, one, two, three, yep, six, and it needs a skeleton skull. Or skeleton head. I think I put away some of those earlier, but they probably dumped it somewhere. Hmm. 
Hmm. None in here, maybe? Hmm. Nope, another Monday collection. Okay, I'm pretty sure I had at least one. Okay, they haven't been dumping in the higher ones, otherwise those would have been more filled. Hmm. Okay, where did they put it? Oop, there we go. Plenty of skulls. Okay. Now to double check that it's the correct ritual or ritual sites. That's the unbound calling. Yep. Okay. Then one, two, three, four. Five and six. Okay. Uh, what book do we need? Or do we need a book at all? Let's see. Okay, no book needed. So we just go here. Mm. Wait, when did I put... Uh, must have accidentally put the wrong spell on the swords. Uh, okay, then we go to this one. Okay. No, oh, didn't know you could actually interrupt those. Makes sense that you can, just to be certain. Okay. There we go, and that started the ritual. Just need to wait for it oh to progress. Dear. And just keep a good bit of distance. Ah. Hmm. I was actually expecting to end the stream of this after two hours about, but we're almost at three and a half. <laughs> yep. So we'll, we'll showcase the games that I was thinking of another time. Yeah, there's no rush, I think. Okay. Also, I've uh, gotten a bit into Eldritch uh, magic with the iron spells. One of which lets me do this, just see all was, living things nearby. Was that a... Was just that just the sword or was that the tentacle? Uh, that was uh, the, that was the spell here. Of course, you investigate the eldritch spells. When I actually be watching a, a YouTube play some of the new uh, soccer for love two. <laughs> this is surprisingly good. Different from the first one, but a bit more scary, but also a bit more funnier. Okay. Come on. Okay, that should have gotten me a good few widow's heads. Need to be a bit careful around the ritual sites because they can be rather easily damaged. So that's why I'm not going to throw around an AoE spell near it. Okay, let's see. That that actually got me three Widow Skeleton Skulls, just what we needed. 
Nice. Okay. Now, planar sites should run out soon. Let's see. Yeah, it should run out already now. Okay. There's a backpack creature around somewhere. Okay. There we go. Now then... Uh, my strongest swords, my healer's mirror. Uh, oh, seven. Okay, I must have not picked them all up <laughs> earlier. Okay. Two. And jump scare incoming. For the rest of the server, that is. Wait, what? You'll see in a sec. For now, oak skin. This is the correct sword. Right? Okay, it's not having the usual effect. Well, uh, Tatum seems to be in panic mode. Uh, normally the Wither would be able to damage stuff around it. But, yeah, that, that's been turned off. Okay, that's good. I, I don't think they panicked, I think they just ma hit the uh, caps lock at some point. heads, Wither projectile heads, and Nether Star. Okay, now let's see. Freeze, Cold Snap. That's supposed to bring up the, the bl Ice Blast, but for some reason it didn't. Uh, up there's where the Lucky Blade went. Okay. Hmm. I might need... Okay, I... I don't think Amplify affects luck, so I'll probably have to swap this, this spell around on this one to have luck first and then harm. It should apply it at the same time. Okay. Nether Star. Let's see. Made a bouncy castle at the guild hall? <laughs> okay. I'll come um... check in a sec. Let's see. Star infused netherites. Ruining for gravitation. Ignores players. Uh, does not need a nearby player. Okay. And let's see. Tier 3. Could do with more slime balls, though. I think you can make those. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to need at least three of these. But let's check out uh, the bouncy castle first. Okay. Yeah, it's something with the paint stuff or something. There. 
Yep. Water and rotten flesh. Okay, and I, I probably should change <laughs> where that portal goes. It's... <laughs> Um, <laughs> boing. Yeah, this is a different kind of bouncy castle. I, I expect it to be filled with the slime cubes, not this. I think we can uh, make a similar thing. <laughs> Uh, frame bouncy blocks under some of the pressure plates. And step stepping next to them sets them off. Uh, put some stuff away. Oh, they ran out of slime. Okay. Actually, I probably should not put those because those are the full launch ones. Um, okay, items can set them off as well. Okay. Uh, oh, it's what was an it evil idea, but I don't think it's a good idea to do it because it's a bit too evil. Yeah, it sounds like it's dinner time. So, I guess that's a good spot as Eddie to stop <laughs> the stream. Yeah, I would say this though don't put uh, jumping things around the portals, just don't. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> But, yeah, I'll have to call it there, then. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. Let me take a quick look on, to see if there's anyone for a raid. And if not, then we'll call it just here. Uh, let's see. Redacted Cat is playing Sonic Adventure DX still. Yeah. Okay. Uh, browser should be muted. So... Let's copy the name. Okay. There and there. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that went well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be able to start on Borderlands 2 with uh, Rom, Liz, and Hex. And if not, then we will definitely, or very likely, continue with the Battle of Middle Earth 2 on Tuesday. Okay. Yay! Slash red and paste. Though I likely will be online again, though probably not streaming myself uh, with uh, Pika's birthday stream. <laughs> uh, around what time? Or, uh, it would be past uh, when you go to sleep, probably. All right. Hmm. Uh, but yeah. Also on that, uh, <clears throat> I want to invite you to another Discord server. For with the uh, whole, with the whole uh, wrestling <laughs> VTuber wrestling thing that we did a while back, it's going to be a, a second season of it uh, sometime soon-ish, and well, it would be fun if you could co-commentate with those. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I want. I think I want to think about it. For I don't think I was there last time. Yeah, that's a different server, not the GADE server this time. It's a smaller one. <clears throat> But anyways, uh, yeah, <laughs> before we start the raids, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Pika. Thank you, Tatum. Thank you, uh, Jess. And thank you, Shaskor. And thank you as always, Dukir. here. You welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining and watching. <laughs> and I see noon has been 
has been lurking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I get sorry for messing up uh, with your pronouns again, Shasquare. Just <laughs> I'm just an idiot. Just let's leave it at that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully Borderlands tomorrow. If not, we'll see people again most likely on Tuesday with Battle of Middle Earth 2. So for now, let's get that rate started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Have a lovely Sunday. And we'll start for 100 seagulls. <laughs> and if there's any, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just launch them into the sky anyways. <laughs> <laughs>